Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to you, family. This is God's word with Lady Risa, and I welcome you all in Jesus' name. They are doing all that because they want to mock you. They want you to feel sad. They want you to feel bad about yourself and about who you are. But this is the response you must give to them. Before I share it, let us say a word of prayer and gratitude to Jesus. Father, thank you for today and thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. Please take the glory and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Each time you tell them about your idea, about your plan, about uh, your activities, they always reply in a sarcastic manner, sometimes in laughter or mockery. And it's not like they're trying to be objective or help you out. But they don't just like the fact that you're progressing. You must identify this as traits of jealousy. If you keep someone around you who is jealous of you, they might do you harm. Because jealousy is a demonic seed. The moment you notice that there is someone who is jealous of you, the best thing for you to do is to take your distance, flee from them and disconnect yourself from them. You have to believe in yourself. Don't let your life be determined by the opinion of others. They let their opinions remain with them. Let you go what God says about you and what you think about yourself be the ultimate. And guess what? You're the image of God created in his likeness and in his beauty. So don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. Don't let anyone make you think less of yourself. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're saying. So just trust in the Lord and stay away from jealous people. The Lord protect you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you for your word. We receive it with gladness in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May it cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and grant you his peace. I love you so much. Shalom.